Hi, Scorpio. All right. So when I was shuffling, I got that a fire sign could be studying you or you're studying a fire sign. There is Leo Sag. Also, people are fighting over you. So there's that. And, okay, so you could be dealing with the Capricorn or like somebody, okay, you could be tempted to do something. Like I'm getting tempted to cheat. Could be with the Capricorn. Maybe somebody that you're dealing with is tempted to cheat or tempted to um, put their energy elsewhere. So, so far we have the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you coming up very strong, very financially well off, very stable. Or this could be someone that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Have the Ace of Wands here. So yeah, this is my card of passion, kind of my dick card here. So somebody could definitely want to, could be offering you sex. Let's just put it that way. Okay. King of Swords could be from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this could be you just trying to make a very wise decision about this situation. Because I do feel like somebody is very tempted here. I mean, maybe you're single and it's not a big deal. But I have the Three of Cups. Maybe you're not single and it is a big deal. But, <laughs> yeah, somebody could... You could be drinking a lot. Somebody could be drinking a lot. Or maybe you've seen this person at a party or this is where this occurred. It could be from a Leo. Or you could be dealing with a Leo. But I feel like overall you're pretty good and you're pretty happy. Like the Scorpio readings have been great lately. You guys are doing fine. Like, you focus in on yourselves, doing what you need to do, making money. Where'd that card go? Okay, you know it'll come out again. Right. Just gonna get more for Scorpio. Here it is. Yeah, King of Wands. There's there's a lot of people here, so definitely I can see why Three of Cups is here. You could be trying to decide between people right now. These could be the people that are kind of fighting for you, fighting for your attention. Yeah. Five of Wands literally fighting for your attention. Hmm. I feel like you're also could be moving away from someone towards another person. This could be why there's a lot of um, conflict here. You have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like either way you are happy. You have two cards of complete happiness here. Very strong Leo energy also. Get one more card for Scorpio. Three of Pentacles. Okay, they have two threes. So I'm really feeling like this is people coming together, people partying, people having fun. But also, uh, this is a relationship. There is more people involved, or just like someone is thinking about someone else. More energy. Okay. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Why is Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Karma, okay. So this could be a karmic partnership. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. But I'm just noticing there's three people in this card too. Like there, there is something going on. What about the Ace of Wands? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Universe, why is the Ace of Wands here for Scorpio? Six of Wands, okay, so you could be really passionate about your job or just doing really well this king of wands energy could be you just really moving forward and work okay so i was thinking about the king of swords and the queen of swords showed herself to me so you could be dealing with a soulmate and also two other people maybe they're all soulmates but i really do feel like one's karmic this could be the soulmate that is karmic for you I don't feel any past energy. I just feel like a lot of people are noticing you right now, recognizing you for maybe your work and liking it. Why is King of Swords here? An air sign can want to start something new with you. What about the King of Swords? Okay. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Somebody could have contacted you. Maybe somebody that you have left out in the cold before, but they sent you a message. Maybe telling you how they feel about you. Maybe it wasn't a nice message, but either way, they told you how they feel about you. But um, yeah, Ace of Wands with the Three of Cups. Somebody wants to offer you sex. You have the Ace of Wands twice now. Okay. Okay, you could be bored in your current situation. Maybe somebody is bored in this current situation. That could be why this is so tempting for you. 
or for them. Somebody's bored. Let's see. Why is the sun card here? Everest, why is the sun here? I feel like you're shining, though. I do feel like people are definitely recognizing you. You have the sun right here in the center of your reading, so I feel like you are the center of the tension. Probably this month, shit. Or maybe just forever, because you're really doing what you need to do for yourself. Okay, so you have the magician. So you're manifesting happiness. Maybe this... What is it? I don't know. I feel like you're not mad at the fact that a lot of people want you. <laughs> I definitely don't think you're mad at it. You could be single. You're just like, hey, whatever. It's whatever. Okay. Okay, so somebody could be pretty defensive here. It could be this fire sign that's really defensive about you. Really, they could be really protective over you. They could be trying to like, I don't want to say trap you, but to like keep you to their selves. So, ten of pentacles with the, okay, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, so maybe you don't like this, maybe somebody is trying to, like, try to keep it to yourself, like, let's just hang out at home, let's not go out, so yeah, this is you trying to decide whether you want to end this, or you want to um, continue being with this person, because they're so guarded, I don't think you like that, yeah, no, ooh, yeah, you're, this could be inner battles also, you debating whether you want to end this with the death card here, or you want to take this new beginning with the fool, because you do have a lot of options, this person is aware of that, and that could be why they're trying to keep you really close to them, but really that's all, all they're doing is pushing you farther away. Okay. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Scorpio? The Ten of Wands. So yeah, this connection could be um, starting to become a little bit burdensome for you, but I feel like you are more than willing to drop it. You have three tens. So these are endings that like once you drop something, it's forever. You don't pick it back up. So that could be why you're really debating and really deciding on this. I feel like this person is like irritating you. I feel a little bit irritated by this situation. Yeah. Ace of Cups, you have offers all over the place. And one is, could be from an air sign or a fire sign. One is very... Um, obvious like they have said it and you are now deciding i don't think you said yes or no at this point so that's three of pentacles here oh, oh. had the five of swords yeah you're you know, somebody could be secretly planning to come together with someone else it could be in aries oh. yeah somebody's not um, voicing what they're planning but they're definitely planning why is five of swords here this was five of swords here. Okay. Eight of swords. Yeah, they could be scared to speak about this. Or maybe you're just like, you feel like your hands are tied in a situation. Oh. Could be done with a Taurus or a Libra. But yeah, I a Libra could want to kind of make an offer to you. You feel like your hands are tied. You want to take the offer, but you feel like your hands are tied. You could be in a relationship or maybe you live with somebody or something like that. Somebody could live with you. Maybe you have to kick them out to the curb <laughs> in order to um, make this happen. So, mm, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to leave it there. But, yeah, it's a lot of temptation energy. <laughs> but, okay, what's the advice for Scorpio? Universe, what's the advice for Scorpio? Magician, okay. So, with this card, it makes me think of Gemini. And also, Geminis do whatever the fuck they want. So, definitely... Do what you want here. You are manifesting at this time, so keep your thoughts positive and happy. Oh, okay, we have the seven of fire, so stand your ground. Like whatever you want, whatever you're trying to manifest, you've you've been working on this for a long time. So stand your ground because stuff that you have been thinking about and been wanting and been working towards are finally here for you. Damn, temptation. Okay, you know what? With this, yeah, I'm gonna clarify temptation, but I'm feeling I'm not feeling like a it's like attempted like don't do it you're just tempted i'm feeling like it, it's tempting you because it's urging you to maybe go for it maybe just go for the new like i'm not saying go cheat on anyone but like definitely go for the new why is temptation here okay king of earth okay could be an earth sign could be a capricorn here trying to tempt you yeah ace of ace of pentacles it could be someone very well off trying to offer you something ace of 
Pentacles. Let's get an overall energy card. Here's, what's the overall energy for Scorpio? Mm -hmm. Seeking and finding and forgiveness. Okay, so this could be for someone from the past that you do need to forgive, but or maybe you're just... Um, yeah, it could be someone that you're trying to forgive because Scorpios are like, once they're done, they're done. So it's like, maybe this is a lesson here somewhere. I don't know. But um, yeah, seeking and finding. You, I feel like you are looking for something new. We also have self-employment. So you could be doing something yourself and making money for yourself. Not You don't have a boss, not working for anybody else. And yeah, maybe you've been manifesting this money from this self-employment and it's here. Like you're the Ten of Pentacles all by yourself. Like you're good. So yeah. Hope this was a good reading for you, Scorpio. If you would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how you could get one. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week.